It's your boy Moldeen, Mr. X special crept and cones. We're out of here, you get me? Car Tuesday, we're supporting the man them. You get me? Crept and cones is doing their thing. Mr. X coming here supporting the man them. We've got Javid here as well. Well, well, what's happening? Big up Mr. X TV. Yeah, exclusives in crept and cones. You get me? Uh, obviously, like, how the Glam Share family team first, yeah? Obviously, you man know, yeah, like, man like Moldeen, yeah, is always chaps and girls, because that's how man is, you get me? I'm a, I, I love the gal, them, innit? Since I was young, 
I'm, attract, I'm, a, I'm a mental for gal, you get me? So obviously the gal can feel the attraction. So when I was talking, obviously the girls were coming, you know, watch the video, girls were coming left, right and center. So obviously um, there's a big, uh, there's been a big like talk about, oh, Modine got wrapped by a chick, yeah? That, that's not what happened. What happened was, um, obviously, the chick came up to me while I was talking and was interested, so I was talking about marriage. Anyway, I dissed the king of uh, Bahrain, yeah? Bahrain, yeah? But obviously, of human rights violation, yeah? I'll diss anyone, innit? I'm not scared of no one, innit? It's free country, innit? The speaker's corner, you can say whatever you want. So obviously, she got, um, I think she's Australian or something, yeah? Anyway, she got a bit mad, because I dissed the king, yeah? And oh, she grips me up and all that. So obviously, cause you know me, like man like me would never hit a woman, you get me? So I moved back, you get me? I said, whoa, I ain't gonna, like, I don't wanna, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on man, relax. So I let her hit me a little bit on my chest. But obviously she saw man got a buff chest and that obviously man could do the movements, you get me? Check out the movements there, you get me? She saw the He-Man chest, you get me? Incredible Hulk, yeah? So she wanted to feel up my chest. So obviously I had to move back, you get me? Like, whoa, you can't be touching me without marriage. So then she got a bit mad and then the, her brethren went up to Leon and um, obviously they had a little royal rumble. I was in I was in I was dealing with my one innit? So obviously I was calming her down. As I was obviously I shouldn't be saying this because this is not this is the uh, this is wrong, but I have to say what happened here. Yeah? As I was calming her down, I was like, calm down, babe, because obviously when a woman gets angry, you gotta calm them out. You can't be getting them more angry, you have to be smart. Don't like just relax, tell them, calm down, baby, put out the fire with a fire extinguisher, you get me? So I was as I was calming her down, she basically started going like this to my face, like that. Obviously, that felt good, but I was thinking, right, we're still not married. This is haram, you get me? Man's getting haram things, you get me? But cause she, I didn't want to upset her cause she was a bit tipsy in it. So I was like, let me do some takia thing in it. Like, don't, I don't want to invade her and tell her don't cause she might bang me up. So obviously, I was like, I was like, right, I'm not gonna move. I, I just got shook. Like I just stayed in my place. She was going like that to my face, and all of a sudden she grabbed my face and she went with her with that lips in man, yeah. So I was like, right, I can't do nothing there. She was grabbing me like that, lips in my mouth, and that like, obviously man was like. Right, I don't want to get banged up, you understand? So obviously I was in a mad situation here. Yeah? So then obviously I took myself away kind of, yeah. But and then she done it again, fam. I was like, rah fam, this is her own thing. So obviously I was trying to get away from that, obviously. And then one man got away from that eventually, mum, the other brothers were leaving the park. What's his name? The Irish guy. What's his name, bruv? Tipsy. Not not tipsy, Pat, that's it. His name is yeah. Pat, yeah? Pat, the Irish guy that's got beef with Ralph. Yeah, yeah, mango. Uh, you bought it. Uh, yeah, yeah, pineapple, yeah. So obviously the Irish guy who's got beef with Raj, yeah. Uh, Pat, that's it. Uh, he he was there. So he was like, "Yo, Mo, work one." I was like, "Bro, man's making moves." So we went to McDee's and now anyway, I don't know what happened to Leon. Uh, I don't know what happened to him, bro. But he, I hope he's all right in it. But. Yeah, man, and then and everything was uh, sweet and bis uh, and crispy, innit? Cause obviously with Modine, when there's any beef or madness, I always, I'm the sweet boy, I'm the sweet talker, you get me? So obviously I'm like, let me deal with it, you get me? Man's like flipping Mr. Muscle, you get me? But obviously my guy of Javik here, yeah? <laughs> this guy, man, if you want to talk about the realest guy that's out here, it's my brother here, you get me? Nah, big, big up Modine, yeah? See, look, today, a problem occurred with a, an ex sub of mine called watching me watching you and this problem that occurred has basically caused me to for the moment leave my girl so i gotta chill out with modine now so now i gotta chill out with modine because we all know modine is the guy that gets all the girls so i've got to chill with him now see see look what, see look what my girl drove me to <laughs> my girl drove me all the way to cruel head in Crepton conan with Modine so I can get a new girl because I'm no longer with her but to the point here look watching me watching you yeah I'm going to give you 15 minutes of fame here basically mate you started talking to my girl and while you were talking to my girl you stopped talking to me the only reason you were allowed to talk to my girl was on the basis that you were doing my live streams and um, she could speak to you sometimes that was fine I had no problem but then you two had this you two started having really long conversations and you i left it at that there was no problem i left it at that big up omar from speaker's corner i was on his live stream this morning 
uh, my guy here watching me watching who's going on Omar's live stream seeing some messages I've left I never called him out I just said a, a sub of mine was talking to my girl and got carried away talking to my girl and got asphyxiated on talking to my girl and he started um, acting stupidly towards me um, I had no problem that was all sorted until this guy started badgering me on YouTube messages and then started miscalling me on WhatsApp where thereby I had to start laying into him verbally because he was clearly making a nincompoop out of himself and an idiot we had a professional relationship but you should have kept it professional but you crossed our boundaries of being professional when you were phoning up my girl at 7 in the morning half 7 in the morning and it's now no longer now in the sphere of uh, helping me but it's basically you're just trying to help yourself yeah you should change your channel name to helping you helping yourself yeah change it to that yeah because basically that's what you were doing you're trying to help yourself to my girl so yeah look i've had to go link up modi and i'm definitely sure to get some yeah you get me because i'm with the original yeah list you get me so yeah big up modi for inviting me to call for a, for a month shit yeah and um yeah man that's what i wanted to say about this guy you get me i want to pass it back to mo he's got a few more bits he wants to get over and done with Obviously, like, man like me, yeah, I want to talk real, I want real people in my life, blood. I don't want fake people, because fake people, they don't talk from the heart, you get me? We need to talk from the heart, so it goes into the people's hearts, you get me? Obviously, man's like 100 kilos now, but I eat too much. I'm not, I'm going to be honest, but I'm from the stress, I've been eating, eating, eating. Because it's cold, I've not been moving, man's 100 kilo from yeah, so one man jumps on you, you know that's a hundred kilo on your back, fam. So don't ever try try mess with more than that. So I'll do one of them flips and jump on you and make you tired, but you'll be running around with hundred hundred kilo black. Anyway, come back to what I'm saying, yeah. Leave the UFC thing at the moment, yeah. Man talks on the heart, yeah. Man is real, blood. When you're real, you're real, but there's bare fakes out there, fam. You know, like you get, you know, you get like mango juice that's hundred percent, and you get mango juice mixed with water. Man like me, is mango, man, man, man like me is the hundred percent mango juice. You man out there are the, are the mixed with water thing. The fakes. The fair fakes, man. Fair the fakes cup, out the there, fam. The but man like Moldine, yeah, obviously. Yeah, that's yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you see that munch? What's that called? This is the Crap and Cone Burger. Looks like chicken and waffles. Yeah. Cheese. I should have gone for the chicken and waffles. <laughs> Damn, that looks nice. That looks lovely. But we're gonna eat some proper meat. Oh yeah, yeah. See, obviously, thank you, love. So obviously, What's that? they gave me rice and a big burger, fam, some double yeah. cheeseburger. But obviously, this, they never gave man a spoon. So, man, no, you got your spoon there. Oh, oh yeah, man. Anyway, yeah, I'll go, I'll go what, what I'm saying, yeah, it. yeah, big up, big up the um, rice and that. You get me? But always say bismillah before you eat, fam. Remember that. Always. Yeah, don't let shaitan eat with you, fam. Yeah, and make sure you wash your hands and that. But anyway, have you ever given them a translation of this? Like the name of the most star, you know, the yeah, name yeah, of Allah. Yeah, yeah, the name of the Lord, you know, you, you can't even deny it unless you bless the thing you get. Yeah, bless the thing you get me. But like I said, man, obviously. Man's stressed so man's eating a lot, yeah. Man can eat ten of these fam, yeah. I can do the burger challenge right now, fam. I can eat ten of these fam. I can do any challenge. But obviously, just like man eats uh love gal, man loves food, you get me? But obviously we need to like we need to have a serious conversation because I know there's a lot of people here that obviously oh well, we're gonna bless the food yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of food, get me. Bismillah. Ooh. The chips are heavy. Hot. If you ever come here, get the chips, they're heavy. Mm -hmm. The fries are heavy. See that there? Some big burger too. Bismillah. Mm -hmm. I ain't finished with that. Watching me, watching you. Because I made a vid earlier. And here you go. Here's, an, here's, another, here's another thing that, that my wonderful girl's done. Because me and my girl are so close, my girl can access my channel from her phone. So that video I put out about you cussing you, watching me, watching you, she decided to delete that video because it's no longer there. 
All right, so to my goal, to be honest, you shouldn't really be doing that. You shouldn't really be defending a guy who's, whose professional job is to troll. Yeah? I used to think this guy's got the hump with Raj because I thought some of Raj's, um, the way Raj was going on was, was he was basically cussing the whole country, cussing the whole country. And he should have pigeonholed it, so forgive the pun. He should have pigeonholed it to certain characters, to certain people. You get me? Um, but he, he went for the whole country. All right, so there, there were reasons why I thought, all right, there's a good reason to troll Raj, but it turns out this guy is is um, is um um a, a not a very nice guy. Not a very nice guy. I don't trust him with anything. Don't I mean, I couldn't trust him running my live streams, basically. Yeah, so to be honest, yeah, his subs are all right. A lot of his subs are cool, but the guy himself has serious issues. And he's got another troll that's on his case called Wendy, Wendy Partridge. Yeah, Wendy's been on your case, mate. Now, for good reason, now to be honest, it seems that you know you are a bit crazy. Um, you need help. I suggest you leave the trolling alone, leave the trolling, trolling alone for a bit, go out for a bit, go do some fun stuff, man. Try pull a bird. Should I hook you up with Modi? Maybe I should hook you up with Modi. That way, maybe you can pull a pull a pull a bird too. Yeah. All right, but you cause a lot of stress, a lot of headache. Yeah. Messed my day up when I had very important stuff to do. So you interfered in the 12 year relationship, yeah, by actually believing in your nut, in your head, that uh, my girl would actually gravitate towards you. And by the way, you're all the way in the Cardiff, yeah? <coughs> so she would not. And it was very silly to stop talking to me as a sub, yeah, because um, now you're just going to make yourself look silly and foolish and I'm sure your channel had a lot more to offer than just being made now to look like a mug that, that you really are. Yeah? All right. I don't get it. How did this all start with that watching me watching you guys? Basically, watching me watching you has been one of my earliest subs from the start. Me and him have built up a rapport over the last three, four months. Bare mad comments over three, four months and we built up quite a rapport. Um, it got to a point where we were complimenting each other and uh, they was giving me ideas to start chasing up like scientific groups and stuff yeah, like institutes like the psychical uh, the Society for Psychical Research and so we come up with a term called Hash, uh, hash Team X and that was going to be the live stream and we were going to make an entire folder for that and start banging that purely for, get followers on it and bang that purely for them um, so we started live streams and upon in that exchange of, of live streaming because I'm a busy guy, I let you talk to my girl. And in that time, you took my girl's WhatsApp number and you're in, under the excuse of wanting my WhatsApp number. So, <laughs> from where you took that WhatsApp number, everything basically went downhill from there. All right? It went downhill from there because you started chatting to my girl on the regs and started indulging personal information with her, um, which you should, to be honest, indulge with your own partner, yeah? Or find a partner and indulge that type of information with them, yeah? I'm not that lame, so I ain't gonna say that on anyone else's channel. But you shouldn't have done that. And then you stopped talking to me, and um, you continued your palava with her. <coughs> and this morning, when you had the hump about me talking, talking about the situation on Omar's live stream, I didn't even mention your name. So you shouldn't have even had a hump. You found it necessary to start contacting me and start making it look like. My girl would even ever actually, she wouldn't even bother looking at you mate, yeah? Not that you've ever shown your face, because a, a troll, a coward troll like you can never show his face. Yeah, she, she wouldn't even gravitate towards you, but you you wanted me to feel like that. Um, and uh, basically, you caused a massive argument today between two people who have been, been best friends for 12 years. I loved this girl when I was married, Benjamin, yeah? And you got gone and said some silly stuff like, oh, your ex-wife ran off with another guy. I was a compulsive cheater, bruv. Yeah, until I got ill. And when I got ill, that sorted me out. I stopped cheating. Eventually, when I stopped cheating, here's a lesson. Karma always comes back and bites you in your ass. Eventually, to be honest, the girl done got her back on me. Yeah, so I can't even I can't even say nothing. I can't even call that cheating now anymore. All I can say is karma always takes place, you get me? Yeah, and for my stupidity once, you know, I was I was treated stupidly, which I most definitely deserved, yeah? Alright? 
Um, and to be honest, you broke, a, you broke up a relationship of 12 years. You haven't really broken up anything yet, because me and my girl are cool. But you cause massive disruption. You're an idiot. You should stick to making uh, videos about Chucky. Yeah, I think you're losing the plot by the way. Personally, personally, I think you're losing the plot because your last video didn't even make no sense. It doesn't even make no sense. It's called Chucky's uh, first laugh or last laugh, and it's just Chucky laughing. I suppose that's that's supposed to be you laughing at the situations that you create in other people's lives, which is pretty sad and pretty shit. And I've been pretty respectful here, yeah, because our two brothers are highly respect. So you know, I don't need to go that far, but. You caused a lot of headache for no reason and that is only because you've got my girl's WhatsApp number so that you could help me instead you started helping yourself. So again I said keep the suggestion. Yeah. Helping helping me, helping yourself. Helping you, helping yourself. Change your name. Ain't there, ain't there a way to sort it out? No, nah, there's no way I would like to sort it out because there's people, men like this, I can't sort things out with men like this. This guy talks too much, man. Yeah, but hold on. No, 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 no. Just keep talking, bro. Keep no, talking. Bro. no, no, no. Cool, cool, cool. What's wrong with you, bro? What are you talking about? What's wrong with you, bro? Mr. Rax, M-I-S-T-R-A-X. Yeah, this is the boss. Bro, bro, just keep talking, bro. What's up with you, bro? Keep talking, man. So there's no way back? Nah, we can't sort this out, bro. I can't. He's not a respectful guy. He's got no honor. You know, people. You know, you gotta be a thief with honor, bro. Yeah, I'll fuck with you. But if you're not a thief with honor, if you if, if you're not a criminal with honor, nah, man. If you're not a crook with honor, nah, man. I don't flex with people like that. Never. Never, cuz. Yeah, man. Like basically, uh, you find it, yeah. Uh, Modine, yeah. Obviously, wherever we go, we change the moods. You get me? Lord have mercy, you see me? We destroy the agents and we give out the wisdom and we ban the chichiman them, you understand, wherever they may be. Uh, Asmana, Asmana was true soldiers, you understand? Them, them, them man can't curse who God has blessed. You understand? Real bad man. We know the creator blessed Modi. And me, me not gonna start dancing for you, but me gonna start give you some wisdom. You understand? Cause obviously, too many man talk breeze on this thing. You understand? Talking long time, them not even make sense. You know? You just talk, 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 talk. You wasting man time. You know? When man talk, we come straight to the point. The point is. First of all, big up everyone. Merry Christmas. I hope you're having a good turkey with your family. You understand? Big up Royal Mill. Royal Mill? What? We've got some of the packages out, isn't it, Cos? Come on, Cos. Hey, we got, we got. Alright. Big up all the Santa Clauses, them, all them man there. You understand? That's running through the chimneys, yeah? But listen. Look, real talks here now. We, we, understand, we understand one thing that's important, and that's God. You understand? And that's what we bless. We, that's, 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 that's what we care about right now. But obviously the mood the mood at the moment everyone's in their yard you understand but they need to understand where to stop because there's a lot of things they're doing wrong first of all i want to address certain people and i'm not going to cause it in a beef way i'm not going to address them in a beef way i'm going to address them in a way where they gotta learn we're all in a, living in a good spirits we're living in a good times you get me christmas spirit santa claus all snowman all of that yeah uh, so, look, there's certain people that meant to be Muslim, but they're acting worse than Kuffar fam. Let me tell you why. First of all, yeah, there's a lot of people that got sins. Everyone got sins. Everyone in this world, there's no one that's perfect except for the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and his family. Everyone else has got sins, you understand? But the Prophets of God are perfect. So, everyone's got their problems in life. When you're making videos, yeah, about people's personal life and peaceful people, you're giving out bad energy. You're not showing no mercy. You understand? You think God's gonna have mercy for you? When you're doing destroying people's lives, their reputation, all these things, yeah? Understand that it will destroy you back. Cause that's the wisdom of every religion, everyone. What goes around comes around. No, everyone knows this. Even the Agans know this. You understand? So you're trying to be a star, get views on YouTube, trying to ruin re people's reputation. But understand this, God will bless these people that you're cursing and making fun of on YouTube videos and you will get destroyed, trust me. And it's not me saying it fam. Do that. 
it's, 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 just, it's, it's the way of life, bro. The way God made the earth. What goes around comes around. You expose someone, you're getting exposed, bro. You and your family, you're trying to expose them and their family. Especially when it comes to women, dad. When you're trying to violate women and their reputation, and I think it's a joke. That's one of the biggest sins in Islam, bro. And what's going to happen to you, Musta? Yeah, I don't want to say your name. Should I say the name? Mr. Rex, should I say or you want to leave it? Say what you like, bro. Everyone knows who I'm talking about. I don't want to say names because I don't want to get involved here, but everyone knows who I'm talking about. Say the channel name. You, you, you want to say the channel name? Random Exposure. Okay, that's it. He said it, yeah? But I, know, I don't want to, I don't want to re, re get involved. I just want to stay neutral, but I'm just giving advice to everyone. It doesn't just mean him. It doesn't mean just that channel. Everyone in the world, around the world, like, I know people are listening to me everywhere. Don't expose people, you won't be exposed. And in the day of judgment, remember, <laughs> You're exposing these people, you're taking their sins and you're giving them your, they're taking, you're taking their sins, you're giving them your good deeds and you're acting like the biggest pagan, you understand? By doing what you're doing because you're, that's one of the worst sins that you're doing and you claim to be Muslim and you're putting Quran with it and you're going on like you're, you're meant to be a good person while you're doing the biggest sin. It just doesn't make sense and, 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 and this is what... Imamali, Imamali said that there's nothing in gaining and exploiting people. There's nothing in gaining, you can't gain anything from exploiting people, yeah? So, my brother's telling the truth there, you get me? Yeah? And my mother tells the truth anyway, so boy, that is the truth as well. You don't exploit people for nothing, yeah? Especially when there's no truth in it. And it's just random, yeah? So, you know, you a crap on my brother, man. Yeah, like, <clears throat> like I said, yeah? You're destroying people's moods, you're destroying people's vibes, you're giving people a hard time in their life, yeah, by doing this, you're destroying, people can commit suicide from what you're doing, but just know, yeah, just know one thing, bruh, yeah, just like you're doing it to them, yeah, it's going to be stuck on you, bruh, it's going to get stuck on you just like prick stick, fam, just like glue, you understand, it ain't going to leave you, bruh, the karma don't leave nobody, bruh, you understand, the curse will come to you, and it will come, like, a, it will come in the form as a man, it will come in a form, it will come unless you repent and delete what you're doing and leave people, have some mercy on people so God has mercy on you. That's what the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi said. He said, Arham turham, have mercy, you'll get mercy. You understand? But just the way you, you do, the way you, what you're doing, destroying women who's got children's reputation, women, people's reputation, yeah? You're acting like the biggest agon fam by doing that. And, and I feel sorry for everyone who's a victim of your of your dirty games bro and that's not that's not what this country and these people are about here this country is a country where we we get freedom of speech everything that's private kept private from yeah at the end of the day yeah there's too many satans there's too many dirty people that's following satan from they're following the ways of satan you get me and they're trying to mix satan with the religion and all the things but like i said bro people gonna keep doing what they're doing bro you understand but at the end of the day, yeah, the real dons here. Yeah. Who's the real dons? The real dons that's not sinning. The real dons are the ones worshiping Allah and spending out blessings, sending out wisdom, sending out knowledge. These are the real dons, fam. Not the dons trying to expose people, trying to find faults in people. Concentrate on yourself, concentrate on your deen, yeah, and try and spread that and change someone's life, bro. Try and change someone's life. You get me? Try and save a family, try and save people from getting divorced, try and save people from mental health disorders, Brandon like I did, just like, yeah, go on. Random exposure never done me nothing, but true words in it, he's saying, yeah, you can get a lot more, yeah, from trying to teach someone something, because you got, you got a good base now, you got about a thousand subs, you can start teaching, you can start teaching and giving people real knowledge, or you could be just carrying on doing what you're doing, which is just exposing people, and there's nothing in that. But yeah, true man, you should use your base for something good, for something better man. I agree 100%. Yeah, I'm not attacking no one, yeah? I'm, I'm I told attacking. you I'm a neutral person. I'm just giving you advice, yeah? I don't want, I don't like seeing people depressed and shattered. Because no. this is, this isn't, this ain't doing no one well, man. This is just, you understand? Even brothers out here, even listening to what we're saying, agree, you get me? Come man, show, man show you, yeah? Man, man's listening to the team, man. You get me? He's, he's paying attention to what man's saying, you get me? And, and, and like I said, bro, man's just trying to, man's just trying to shine. But I saved someone's life. I said this before. English brother was gonna commit suicide. He saw my videos. He's still alive today. He's telling me his daughter's getting Christmas cards because of me. He's cool. wow. he's messaging me wow. every day, bro. Up, bro. So do something. Save someone's life. Don't destroy people's life. But if someone does commit suicide, or if someone's going through mental depression because of your videos and what you're doing, then remember what you're gonna do in your grave, bro. Remember what's gonna come as snakes, scorpions. They're gonna bite you. 
You understand? And why, why do you want that? For what? A couple of subscribers? For what? For the dunya? No. Fear Allah, innit? Fear, fear the next life, bro. We're all, got, we're all getting tested here, all of us. When none of us is getting away. It says that the atom of bad that you do, you're going to see it in the next life, bro. An atom. And, and sometimes you don't even have to wait to go to your grave. Sometimes the punishment is given to you in this life. Of course, this life yeah. and the grave. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Some people, they see it in their grave, which is worse. You might even get some air. You're, 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 what, what's going to happen in the afterlife? It'll be a bit easier on you. No, no, it won't. The, the grave is going to be the worst, bro. But people don't think like that. They think dunya, dunya. They're angry at someone. Even I'm not trying to say I'm not. I'm, I've got sins. We all got sins. You understand? I've got sins myself, bro. And I get angry. I, I do things wrong. But we learn, innit? And we stop. You understand? When you look, when you learn from make toba, innit? Say your stuff for a lot, innit? It's always. What? You see my brother here, yeah? He's always with the mama Ali, I'm with the mama Ali, we always rep all that, yeah? I disagree with certain points, but that's that. We can always disagree to agree, innit, yeah? At the end of the day, this brothers, the point is the same thing. I say incarnation, reincarnation are a fact. Everyone comes here seven times. And for every everything that you sow in your life, you will you will go through it in your next life and, and you will see the consequences of it in your next life, you get me? Yeah? yeah. Um, and sometimes, sometimes the most fortunate people in this world, you think are very, very fortunate, um, will only find out in the afterlife how unfortunate they really were. Wow. All right? You get me? Real talk, real talk. Yeah? Uh -huh. Sometimes fortune isn't everything to look at. Yeah? Sometimes some of the richest people, the wealth, wealthiest people in this world are cursed. And it's a curse, not, not a blessing, it's a curse sometimes. Remember that, peeps. Yeah. It's like, yeah, man, like I've said that before, you know, like... <clears throat> Like at the end of the day, yeah. Like I said, yeah. I don't I don't want anyone to think, even my enemies. I don't want them to think I'm having a go at them. I'm just trying to advise them, just like I advise everyone. I don't have problem with no one, bro. I'm just I want good vibes, innit? That's what it's about, good vibes, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because people can drink, yeah, to, to think that they can get good vibes by drinking alcohol. You're not gonna get good vibes by that. You're cursing. That's the devil's. That's the devil's so urine. You get me? That's gonna mess you up. That's gonna mess up your life, fam. This place is shit, bro. Nah, I, I, I'm just saying, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like you need to like think about something, yeah. Everything in this life, yeah. It's not. It's not. It's this not, place is uh, rubbish, fam. You know, fucking I, service is shit. The food is shit, and they ain't got no fucking shit in the fucking. I can only um, batty whole that, place. I, I, I can only back Mr. Rats up for that, cause boy, the place Fuck is this a bit. Place. A service is place, a bit more. So your place. If you want a real, real review on this stuff here, this place is the big one, bro. I'll be honest. Yeah, the burger was 10. The burger was 10. The chips are banging as well, but the service... It's a fatty man zero. place. Zero. 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 One hundred percent. Bro. Nothing, man. You took the Steve White out of there. Peak. What happened there? <laughs> Ain't got no fucking desserts and that, like just some bollocks. Oh my god. Ain't got that thing. It's bollocks, bro. Oh, it's a pansy place. Anyway, carry on, man. Yeah, I'm man. Like, finish this thing and then let's bounce from this shit hole. Yeah. Uh, basically, yeah, uh, I just think that at the end of the day, yeah, uh, you gotta be like, if your heart is good, yeah, then. Uh, if you've got a good heart, good, yeah, man. then be... God's watching your heart more than your clothes like or your money. Yeah, or he watches your heart, you get me? So if, you, if your heart is good, you get me? Yeah, yeah. just allow it, bro. I hate this place, man. Bun it, this. it says it. Yeah, I'll say it. Yeah, just allow it. I've been saying it. Bun this It'll tell you. Big out the Almighty knows your heart. Yeah, no, no, no. Keep them cheap, man. Yeah. Nah, I don't want nothing. The Almighty ain't concerned about your watch, your suit, your car, your house. How much money you got in your bank. Big out of the Almighty don't care about that. Yeah? Your heart. The Almighty knows your heart, you get me? Yeah, and that's that's the most important thing, you get me? As long as you got a, a good heart, a good intention, that's what you should be bothered about the most. Because yeah. what you see your namaz, what you see anything, if your heart is bad and your intention was bad from the first place. So when we sort that out, then you know everyone should do salah. Right now, everyone's intentions sometimes are hidden. They, hide, they try to hide their intentions, yeah. but you know what? Because we know about energy, we can feel that shit, you get me? We feel that energy, we feel that bad vibe, you get me, bro? But go on, my brother, you want to drop in a few more points? I want to tell, tell them about the economy and where we're going with all this, man. I just think that, you know... Look, you should have decided. Uh, yeah, I don't want no desserts, bro, man. This place is shit. Alright, uh, um... I'm so sorry, but I've actually been told by, by people 
that you're not going to record again. Oh, okay. All of a sudden. I haven't, I haven't had, I was letting you record, but like... That's all right, we finished, we finished, finished anyway. I haven't actually done anything to you. That's calm, that's all right. I've been on my own the whole day, and the yeah. first thing you've ever said, that's Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Should've been on your own. Yeah. Not that small, man. That's not my fault. I'm exactly. actually doing the best I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, but I'm not fucking with you. But you could have done anything to give you the best. Yeah, but I've done anything to give you the best. Oh, right. Give me, let's feel this one. Why don't you complain? You could have been holding about it. Now, I don't need those. Nah, nah, wait. This place is shit, bro. We're not saying nothing at you. We're just saying it's unfair that they got you running around like that. As well. You get me? They should come and do the shit. Call them. Yeah. Wow. Alright, well, there you go, peeps. <laughs> Burn this place. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Um, just to change the mood a little, what I want to do is right now, Jeez, peeps. Yeah, what you it, should bro. do, what you should do right now, yeah, is be checking, looking at the indices. Yeah, look at look at the Dow, look at the FTSE, look at what top investors are telling you, and they are telling you that a major correction is at hand. But certain bigger investors are telling you. That this isn't just going to be a correction. This is going to be a depression, sicker, worse than uh, the old depression that happened in America in the 1930s. Yeah, 1929, stock market crash. Yeah, very important because the number 29 in it is also embedded the number 911. Very important. We all remember 911 and what fucking happened. So yeah, look, that was that that was iconic. What happened then in 1929? Yeah, they top investors have said that B points were cited even worse than that because. At that point in time, there was still at that point in time there was still some real wealth. Um, there was still some gold value in the in the in the money standard. Now it's just fake paper fiat currency. There's no standard to any of this, and they've been printing money out uh, doing this quantitative easing shit for years now since the last recession. They never crowed any problems. They just created bigger bigger problems. But um, this is all gonna. Uh, come into um, a collapse where they're going to merge the cryptocurrencies as as the uh, main digital currency. This is depicted to you on the Economist magazine in 1988, where on the cover is a crypto coin, and on it it also that's 1988 cover, and on it it also says 2018. Well, peeps, again it's 2019 now. Take the hint. Um, the, the, there's going to be some major changes to your economy in the very near future. Only the all, almighty knows when, but yeah, trust me, they've given you enough hints here. Yeah? So major shit is going on. Um, and if you look at uh, the Dow Jones right now, it's in what they what investors are calling the death, the death haze, the cross haze of a plunging market. Yeah, um, it's about to hit, um, hit uh, the domino effect. Okay, so when that happens, peeps, if you're a cryptocurrency type of guy, be looking and get ready for looking at that shit because that shit's gonna basically flatten overnight. And the next morning you wake up, um, most of them would have been, most of the control of the Bitcoins would have been taken over. That's the reason they're going to drop it to peanuts and buy it up because it's more of the control factor that they're involved with. This has already been done, by the way, in, um, um, in a documentary in some battle of, of Waterloo that the Rothschilds were uh, involved in. So check out for the tap in, uh, the Battle of Waterloo, Rothschilds, and then you'll see that they've done the exact uh, stock exchange collapse at that time and bought pounds for pennies on the fucking, for pennies on the dollar, sorry, yeah, all right, and uh, uh, monopolize, mo monopolize the stock market at that point, that was about 100, 150 years ago, so look, they do these things on the standard, on the regs, they, they are giving you clues as to what they're planning right now, um, and, um, and check out the 2019 cover, so the end of this 2018 cover, the 2019 cover for the Economist, Economist magazine, it's Donald Trump, and he's talking about DNA, all right, very important DNA, so check it out, um, and uh, so yeah, definitely look at your uh, indices and, and get ready for a, a, um, a market crash because it, it's 100% coming. This is why invest in Allah, invest in the Almighty and not always in money. Wow, real talk. You know. is that, so Mo, how come you keep um, fucking up on COE and then coming on my channel and making explanation videos? <laughs> Bro, like basically, yeah, it's like, it's like having chips here yeah, with no sauce, isn't it? A man has the chips with no sauce, it's like man's on COE. But when man put the sauce, it's like Mr. Rex TV. You understand? It's like that, man. It's like, it's a mad thing, but, but obviously, I just want to condemn every single thing that I've done wrong on the camera. And I apologize to God, I apologize to the viewers, 
If I've done or said anything that's haram in you any way, and well. I'm never gonna do that again. This is the last time I'm ever gonna mess up. On yeah, a, right, and then Sunday he'll get on belly vision and then start doing the same shit. No, nah, no, nah, that's it. No more, no more. Me, I'm no changed. More, I've Come done Toba. No, no, nah, nah, this is the last time I'll ever mess around. I'm gonna be a good boy from Watch now on. Watch this Sunday, yeah, everyone. <laughs> no, nah, I'm gonna. I've, I've, I've done Toba. Stop for Allah. Allah, forgive me. I'll never do. I'll never mess up again. This is the last time ever, man. I, I even got called today from someone from Brixton. He was like, "Yeah, it's this more Dean, rare, rare, rare," and he was giving me advice, innit? He was like. I'm just advising you for the sake of Allah, you get me? He was like, this is not the way to, do, as a Muslim, it's not the way to act. And, and I was wrong and that's it, no more, man. I'm not, this is Merry Christmas to everyone, that's it, man. You get me, man? I was going to be a good boy for me. Important shit, yeah, listen, 2019 is going to be a roller coaster of a year. If you've had enough warnings about it, yeah, you've had enough warnings. Um, we can go on YouTube right now, you'll see a lot of shit about it. January, early part of January, Blood Moon, Blood Moon, Celestial Signs, Celestial Event, very important. When you see a red light on traffic, you stop, okay? When you get a red letter notice, you take notice, okay? Um, take notice at a Blood Moon that's coming up in January, it's very important. Um, 29 is going to be a Maza year. A lot of Sufis are saying it's the return of the Mahdi. Who could this character be? But yeah, definitely keep your eyes peeled for 29 people. It's gonna be a different direction, I guarantee you. Some, uh, yeah man, remember if you some places you don't get a blessing, but you might go somewhere else and get the blessing. So don't just get the press, you gotta keep it moving like they say, you get me? It's your boy Mojun, we're gonna keep it moving, get you understand? Big up, the one and only, my chief, Mr. Rex TV. Hey everyone, I had to tell him to say that man, because he never says it. No, I always say it, I say it in my sleep. <laughs> Big up Mr. Rex TV. <laughs> Oh, yeah, enjoy it. Rex, this is on you, yeah? Mr. Rex, we're going to have a Christmas special. Christmas special. Yeah, that's how we got to do it. We got to do a whole. Nah, forget it, Christmas man. I'd rather, rather sleep, it's more interesting. <laughs> Find this place, find you love. <laughs>